Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you've been watching the news and what's going on with Russia and Ukraine, perhaps you're concerned that there could be some kind of a nuclear bomb, nuclear accident, some kind of nuclear radiation that could affect our world, which would be extremely horrible if it did. We can look back through most of our lives and realize that the threat has always been there, but there have been very few incidents that have affected us, but the threat is real. I grew up during the Cuban Missile Crisis. We were told to duck and cover. People were building bomb shelters in their backyard, and I was very disappointed that my father wouldn't build one. But it turned out we didn't need one. Things smoothed over and were okay. Then we had the Chernobyl nuclear accident, which at that time, Chernobyl was actually part of the USSR. It was in Russia, and now it's in Ukraine because of the way that the Soviet bloc states were split up. There are many nuclear power plants all over the world. Maybe none where you live, but there still can affect all of us because of the way the wind blows, the earth turns, everything goes around and around. We live in a closed environment. Everything affects everything else. Next, we had the Fukushima earthquake, which led to a nuclear accident. And I know a lot of us can still remember how frightening that was because we were downwind. It was blowing towards us and we weren't really sure what the threat was, what we needed to do. Now we're looking at perhaps what could be a very serious incident that could occur in our lives and it seems to be more realistic. Maybe you have a few of these movies that used to terrorize me the day after, the day the earth stood still. This has the five disaster collection. The chain reaction, the day the earth moved, fire from below, the day the sky exploded, and epicenter. These are fiction, but there are a few things that you can do to help protect your health, but only if you actually are under threat that you would be exposed to radiation. These are supplies you can gather, but do not use them unless it's absolutely you are in danger of being contaminated from radiation. The first one is Iosat or potassium iodide. It's a tablet that fills your thyroid and blocks your thyroid from holding in radiation, which can cause long-lasting damage. And so this fills your thyroid, so your thyroid can't be full of the radiation. It's a 14-day dose, that's all that you would take one per day for 14 days if you have been exposed. This isn't going to do you any good if you take it in case you're worried. You could actually harm your health if you took this when you didn't need to. You also then risk that you don't have something that could be life-saving when you need it. So if you can get some Iosat or even a bottle of potassium iodide tablets, the recommended dose is 130 milligrams per day for 14 days. Iosat tablets are something that I've ordered several times so that I have fresh ones in my emergency uh, medical kit. And so maybe now that it's popular again, maybe you can't even get them. So you could look for bottles of potassium iodide and then you would still stick with the 130 milligram dose, but only if you have been exposed. There are also a few warnings on the back. As with any medication you would take, you need to read on the back what the warnings are and check with your medical professional to make sure that this is something safe that you could use. Another item that might be handy to add to your stockpile would be apple pectin. In the days after Chernobyl, the children had been exposed and it's the most damaging to children because they have the longest life ahead of them. If you're old, you may only have a few years left, and so maybe it takes 10 years for you to get cancer from the radiation, and so your life isn't going to be as threatened as a child who has 80 or 90 years of life left in them. And so it's important that we keep our children protected. One of the studies that they did after the Chernobyl accident was they took two groups of children, they fed them all fresh, healthy fruits and vegetables, they fed one group apple pectin every day and the other group had a placebo. And at the end of 30 days, the children who had had apple pectin had removed twice as much of the radiation from their bodies 
as the children on the placebo. And so apple pectin is a naturally occurring substance. You can also get it in citrus fruits, things like that. But it's in the skin of the fruit. So say you eat an apple every day, you're getting a nice dose of pectin anyway, which can help with your digestive system. But if you're concerned with perhaps you can't get the fresh fruits and vegetables, perhaps you want to make sure that you have everything possible to help keep yourself as healthy as possible, you could get some apple pectin and put it away with your potassium iodide. Then you have some remedies to help protect your health in times of dire emergency. If you read about other countries such as Finland, this potassium iodide is something that they regularly have stockpiled in their country and they like people to have it in their homes simply because they understand the benefits of taking the potassium iodide should there be a nuclear event. That's not a common practice in the United States, so if you live somewhere else and you have protocols for using these items to help protect yourself or have on hand should you need to protect yourself in the event of a nuclear disaster or a nuclear war, a nuclear bomb, there could be several reasons that you could be exposed to nuclear radiation and you may want to protect your health. So if that's a protocol that happens where you live, leave it in the comments below and help us learn from each other. There's so much we don't know as preppers that we depend on each other to help educate each other and to help each other to learn so that we can make the best of whatever is coming our way. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.